the plane was three hours late. But for one Green Country family, the phrase better late than never has never before been such a blessing. He died two years before I was born. After submitting a DNA sample to the military, it was confirmed. The remains of first class Navy seaman Eugene Wicker had been recovered. Just questions, just a lot of questions about, you know, where he was at, how he died or whatever, but that's one of them things that we never know. Eugene Wicker died in the radio room of the USS Oklahoma when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in the famed World War II raid. The USS Oklahoma would take nine torpedo strikes and capsize. 429 crew members would die, many of their remains buried in a mass grave in Hawaii until recently. And with some help from his nephew Woody, a positive DNA match would bring Eugene Wicker from one Oklahoma to another. Yeah, you know, sad. I never get to meet the guy. I carry part of his name, but I didn't get to meet him. The family will bury Eugene at the Fort Gibson National Cemetery with full military honors. What wasn't coming from the government? Uh, what we're going to do today? Uh... A team of Patriot Guard riders more than made up for with their motorcade escort. It's a homecoming for a lot of us. You know, a lot of us didn't get a homecoming, and so it's 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 like, well, we're we're paying it forward. Though many, including Woody, never knew Eugene, the day he finally came home was the final pages of what has been a long chapter in the story of the Wicker family. I kind of got my hopes up uh, in 2010, and then when we uh, went back to, I got a letter to go to Kansas City for a meeting, and we went to the meeting, they said they were going to work diligently on this, and they did. They've done great. For the Patriot Guard riders themselves, this is the second World War II veteran that they have been able to escort to their final resting place this summer. At Tulsa International Airport, covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.